Hey guys, Brooke Whipple here. Welcome to my channel. It is day 12 of the 28 day get out every day and start a fire challenge. And here I am. It's like been a blizzard today. There's a little bit of lull right now. So I thought I'd get out and do my fire right now. I'm at my shelter trying to stay a little bit out of the weather. But it is gorgeous out here. I love big snows. It's awesome. Perfect time to start a fire, right? Eat some good food, drink something warm. Ladies and gentlemen, start your fires. All right, I think that'll help quite a bit. These are actually two Russian army plash palatkas. They're like army ponchos from the Russian army. And they're really nice weatherproof canvas. And I use them quite a bit. You can join them together to make shelter. I've got other videos about that. And so uh, they're gonna come, it's, it's gonna totally help out today. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's really helpful. That's perfect. Got good birch bark from yesterday with me. It's actually really enjoyable out here right now. It's probably in the low 20s. It's really not that bad. Earlier, it was just, you know, really blowing and snowing hard. I think it's coming back, but right now there's a little bit of a lull. That's nice, huh? There's some heat coming off of that. Woo! For vittles today, guys, it's gonna be beans and weenies and a cornbread muffin. Oh, and a surprise dessert. You gotta see Maisie. Look at my snowy princess. Hi. You want beans and weenies too? <laughs> it's coming. So nice out here. You'll get food, don't you worry. Today it's hot cocoa, guys. It's a hot cocoa day, I thought. It's so beautiful out here. I love big blizzards. <laughs> Starting to pick up again now. I finally got my books from the library, the Mary Oliver books that I ordered. I can order books through the library and they just come from different libraries in the state. So I've been able to, to really see some new poems. So I got a new one for you today. It's from her book called Why I Wake Early. And this poem is called Look and See. This morning at Waterside, a sparrow flew to a water rock and landed by arrow on the back of an eider duck. Lightly it fluttered off, amused. The duck too was not provoked, but you might say was laughing. This afternoon, a gull sailing over our house was casually scratching its stomach of white feathers with one pink foot as it flew. Oh Lord, how shining and festive is your gift to us if we only look and see. I love that. That's gotta be one of the favorites I've read so far. All right, let's check the water. No, it's not quite hot enough yet. But I will warm up my cup. Man, I'm digging this here. This is really helping out a lot. Maisie, it's okay, girl. Come on. Come on. Trying to keep this fire back a bit so it doesn't smoke me out. I got the wind coming from uh, the wrong direction today. Coming out of the southeast, which is just so weird. I love it when she crosses her feet. She looks so cute. <laughs> I gotta have booties on her when it's like this. She gets too many ice balls in her in her toes. Hurts her. Time to put the weenies out and make some hot cocoa. Oh, them are gonna be good. All right, here we go. Let's make some hot cocoa here. 
Oh yeah. Nice and thick. Mm. Cheers guys. Mm. Oh, it's nothing like hot cocoa on a cold snowy day. And you're out in it. <laughs> yes. I love these kind of days. Look at that. It's looking good. Them's looking good. Beans and weenies, baby, coming up. <laughs> I gotta find a new, another poem. I'd be happy to sit here by the fire and find another poem. Time to add the beans. Campfire special. Beans and weenies. I don't care who you are, that's got to look good right now. Yum. Hot beans and weenies on a cold day. That's all right, all right, all right. Dish some of this up for Maisie and let it cool. She is gonna love that. I'm gonna love it. Looks really good. Mm. All right, I think this is probably done. Let's open this up. cornbread muffin to go with that. Oh man, that's a good looking meal. You thinking so? Mm -hmm. I got yours right here. I think it's cooled off enough. Here you go, baby. That's for you. Is that good? Mmm. Beans and weenies, baby. Time for me to eat too. Oh Lord, thank you for this food and this day and the snow and your beautiful creation. I'm so blessed. Thank you for everything you do in Jesus' name. Amen. Look, beans and weenies and, and a cornmeal muffin. Oh, what a bite. There you go. It's a taste memory. You know, I've just had this before and it's like comfort food. Mm. Need a bite of everything. Mm. It's really super good with the cornmeal muffin. And a bite of weenie. <laughs> mm. Best way to keep your food warm in the winter when you're eating is to eat it right out of the cast iron pan. That keeps it warm. Otherwise, my food gets cold really fast out here. So, it's nice to eat and keep it hot. Just eat right out of the pan. The char on the weenies really sets it off. All right, one last poem from Mary Oliver. This one's called, How Everything Adores Being Alive. 
What if you were a beetle and a soft wind and a certain allowance of time had summoned you out of your wrappings and there you were, so many legs hardening, maybe even more than one pair of eyes, and the whole world in front of you? And what if you had wings and flew into the garden, then fell into the up-tipped face of a white flower? And what if you had a sort of mouth, a lip, to place close to the skim of honey that kept offering itself? What would you think then of the world as night and day you were kept there? Oh, happy prisoner, sighing, humming, roaring that deep cup. <laughs> That's brilliant. As good as that was, you're not gonna believe what I have for dessert. Watch this, it's like magic. This is the ingredients to my secret uh, amazing dessert we're gonna have today. I wanna see if you can guess what it's gonna be. First of all, a can of evaporated milk. It's going in. Okay, we got that. Two eggs. Okay, all right. Three quarters of a cup of sugar. And now some vanilla extract. Now, I'm gonna whisk it up. Did you guys guess yet what this is? You wanna whisk that in nice and good. You want it all mixed up really good. That's probably good. Okay, now we need some fresh snow. See this bucket? See this fresh snow? It's going in my bowl. A little bit at a time. You guys know what I'm making yet? <laughs> That's right, snow ice cream. Best ice cream in the world. So you wanna just kinda of put a little bit in at a time. And then you just kinda of fold it in. See what's happening here? It's ice cream! The most delicious vanilla ice cream ever. You don't wanna to add too much snow so it gets kind of like weak. You want it to be, that smoke is still drifting towards me. How is that possible? Give me a break, I need some fresh air. This is looking good. See that? It gets a little more creamy the more you mix it. Oh yeah, it's turning into ice cream right now. See how that's nice and creamy? That's ready to go. Oh, snow ice cream is the best. Oh, you wanna make it chocolate? All right, hold on. All you gotta do is add some hot cocoa powder. I got some right here. And once again, stir it up. There you go, if you want it more chocolatey, just add more hot cocoa powder. Kids love this, and I love it. I'm still a kid at heart. Mmm, chocolate's really good too. I know some people freak out about using uh, raw eggs, but I don't, I'm fine with it. But I also have my own chickens, so. I know where, where my eggs are coming from. There you have it, snow ice cream. Perfect weather for it. <laughs> so guys, this is the 28 day challenge, day 12. Thanks for joining me. Get outside and get a fire. Get outside and get happy. Turn off the electronics, smile more, turn off the news, and stare at a fire. Stare. All right, this girl in the woods, she gone. Oh, and don't forget to get outside and get happy. Oh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.